Good morning, everyone. It's my morning voice. I uploaded this just now. It's just five minutes past six. Oh, these zucchinis are so big. market in downtown again because I'm working today so I decided to take a walk here um, it's pretty chilly I think it's like around maybe 10 degrees right now but it feels really nice um, but the problem is is that it just started sprinkling a little bit it's not too hard but yeah I have a hood so it's all good I don't have anything that I want to buy or anything, but I just wanted to take a walk around. I didn't want to stay inside. It's so cloudy. So this downtown farmer's market is going to be moving indoors in a few weeks. I think the last weekend that they're still going to be outside is the Thanksgiving weekend. So yeah, a few more weeks. And then once it moves inside, because it is a bit further from my workplace, I won't be able to go to it anymore. That's why I want to make <laughs> these last few weeks worth it. I have to put up my hood now because the rain is getting harder. I don't think I showed you that side of the street before, but there's Evolution and then there's Black Pearl, which is a restaurant, and then there is Credo Coffee. Um, it's pretty nice to walk here. I actually like it more at nighttime because when yeah the street lights are on it's really nice on the streets. So. Yeah. I just got uh, cheese puffs from Dolphin Bakery. Like I was saying like before I think um, they are well they used to be my favorite bakery. They are reopening at another location in the south side somewhere on October 17th. I asked the lady that was working there. So I am very happy for them that they are reopening. Although I would have much enjoyed and much appreciated the downtown location. But oh well. So it's like clearing up a little bit but it's still like light to drizzling. Got my coffee. So the girl said um, it is they do all their coffees medium roast but the beans themselves are really rich apparently. Uh, I don't know if she was just telling me that or not but I don't think beans itself like beans themselves are rich to begin with so I don't know but it's too hot for me to try right now so maybe by the time I get back to my workplace it will be cooled down enough for me to have a sip so yeah right now I'm just heading back to work the time went by super super fast okay so yeah i will talk to you later bye oh yeah this is like construction zone it's like construction zone everywhere it's terrible <laughs> and so because of the construction zone there's like obviously a bunch of road closures and stuff and loud sounds yeah. um, anyways I am 
really gonna go now, so I will talk to you later. Bye! I just sipped this. It doesn't taste like what the girl said. I'm a little bit disappointed and I don't really like this coffee. I prefer my dark roast. Welcome to my locker. <laughs> okay, so these are the cheese pastries that I got. Cheese puffs. I'm gonna try one. Oh my god, this is this is so hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. They're kind of cute, hey? It's hollow on the inside, but but the flavor is all right. I like it. They have these now, buzzers. <laughs> yeah, so I was just telling Susan <laughs> that most places that I go to don't have the second layer, but you need that second layer. Does yours have the second layer? I, it doesn't, I do. Oh, you do. Can you tell? It's kind of like hard because I'm yeah. like it all but it's like, yeah. Yeah. Right there. So last time we were here, it's Susan again, by the way, but you guys have all seen her already. So <laughs> I feel like I should be a regular. <laughs> so last time we were here, we shared between three people, we had five desserts. But now, so on average, it's one point six seven per person. But now this time, we've gotten gotten better. Where we have three desserts for two people. But look how big this is. It's okay, we're gonna share it. It's fine. Yeah, we each have our bing suits. There's a drink that's mostly for Susan. And then we have this, which is the honey butter honey butter bread. <laughs> We have scallops for dinner tonight, along with hot pot.
It's that time of the year again. So fall is coming, as you can tell by the leaves. But the bigger issue is um, tomorrow there's going to be flurry activity. So then for most of today, my family picked pears from our two pear trees outside. That's our apple tree right there. Um, the two pear trees are in my backyard. But like this basically happens every year at this time. So because there's so many pears from our two pear trees, besides giving a lot of it away, there's still a ton left. And so a few years ago, uh, my family just started making these dried pear pieces. Basically this machine is on like not 18 hours a day, but pretty close. I would say maybe 15-ish hours. Yeah, so it's plugged in. And then this tape here, it's like on other sides as well. But it's because our machine is on so often, a lot of it is cracked. And we actually tried a several different ones throughout the years, but they don't last very well like it takes a long time to dry the same amount so we try to you know save this one as best we can uh, the tape seems to be working as long as each tray itself is not that heavy so we're gonna stick with this one hopefully for another two years I bought this book a while ago um, because I was attracted to the title. <laughs> I just started reading it today. I just haven't had the time to. Um, that's how much I read today. Um, so far, I don't think it's that interesting, but I asked Susan and she said that it gets better when the main girl, Rachel, goes to Singapore. I'm not at that point yet, so I don't know. It might be more interesting, but right now I'm not entirely into the book yet. I will let you know once I'm done. Oh my god, it's here! The snow is here! I feel like we just like skipped fall because not all the trees have turned yellow yet. When I was, you know, out and about, um, there's actually a lot of trees that are still green, like have green leaves. But yeah, I guess we just, the snow came early 